Hello, hello, Azumi here, and let's do some Ultima Annihilates. So, I'm going with uh, Sayaka Miki from the Madoka Collabs. So, that's what I'm using on her. We are Then I'm going with Mage Commander Grace. Erd is my healer. Chun Li is basically debuffs, and Nautica to round it out. So let's get going. Okay, so here we go. The Targeted races here on Ultima are going to be Aesir, Yotun, and Beast. Uh, so the main deal with Ultima is is the crystals. Phase one, the crystals have a physical shield, so they block a large portion of physical damage. So you're going to want to use magic attack. Phase two is the opposite. You're going to want to use mostly physical attack on that. And then, <coughs> excuse me, phase three is a combination of both. Um, Ult Ultima also has gravity field on the second and third health bars, as well as the high flame field. Um, she also inflicts fire wounds to all enemies with her auto skill. Um, the good thing is, is she's an airborne Therian, so you could take advantage of the um, new anti-Therian equipment and things that do bonus damage to airborne. Um, you also got to be careful because she inflicts brand on uh, certain races, so like Erd in particular, if her health ever becomes the lowest and she starts getting hit with brand a lot she's probably gonna die so HP up gear is recommended a little bit more than actual healing gear um, some good heroes to use that I don't have in this fight would be Ipsum Nori Mona and that was bad timing Roveria Mizuki also Ulin and Sayaka, which I'm using right there, are also good choices. So, it always, for me, with this fight, comes down to the last minute. It, I don't always win. I win probably about 75% of the time. And it really depends on how your equipment procs, so... It's a, you know, end game fight, so it's going to be hard. But if you have the right combination of heroes and equipment, like, some people can do it no problem every time. But this is the setup that works for me, so this is what I'm going with. And I prefer to do it manual instead of auto because I don't want the limit burst to just proc whenever it feels like it or whenever it's ready and I, sometimes I like to save chun Li skill until after um, the barrier drops on um, Ultima herself the little barrier icon up there under her health bar if you use it when that's gone then it's more effective And then also if you if I have um, other pieces of gear that drop defense proc at the same time, it'll drop her defense to f minus 50%, and that's when you can really do some damage. Well, yeah. Sorry about the interruption. I forgot to turn the sound on my phone off while I was recording, so. That happens when you're recording a phone game. Uh, 
and I'm too lazy to redo it just because of that noise so eh, oh well anyway we're about done hopefully in a, no, probably about 20 seconds Because, like I said, it always comes down to the, almost the last second every time. And I've managed to three-star her so far, so... I'm just a little late doing the video. I, I actually thought I did one when I first could beat her, but then I looked and I didn't, so... Anyway, there we go. Four seconds to spare. Let's look at the damage. And, of course, Grace did the most, so there we are. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.